Hey, Fanny McBlubberton, I got a new game for you. What? I am not fat. Well, you're definitely out of shape. Well, sitting in this chair all day does that to you. But back and neck are killing me. Hold on, I'm sorry. What was that? I couldn't hear you through all your pitiful, scrawny wheezing. We are the same person. At least I'm not fat. Ring Fit Adventure. Oh no, you're not roping me into that. Wow. Oh, I know. Look at how not fat and out of shape you are, lug nut. And I'm actually impressed with this. I mean, the game is designed and executed so much better than I expected when I first saw it in the trailers. Huh. You know, it actually does look pretty sweet the more I watch. Is this really an exercise game? I mean, I honestly thought I was throwing you under the bus with this one. It's actually astounding how well this all works, keeping me engaged in the gameplay, but also playing the perfect mind games with me to make sure that I keep my body moving. It's genius. Never thought you'd work up this much of a sweat playing with yourself, did you? Don't put that in the video. Okay, how on earth can you possibly be impressed with an exercise game? Forgetting the obvious motion control input, the game itself plays like an honest RPG. There's tons of creative elements, levels, currency, outfits as armor, ingredients for smoothies as potions and buffs for battles. But it's an exercise game! This was a joke, man! Dude, there's a skill tree! This totally backfired. You're dead serious about all this? I can 100% worlds complete with side quests as I progress through the main story. Did you hear me? There's a story campaign! You know, for me to stay motivated and to really make a habit of this game, I would need something like that to keep me going. Honestly, it all does. The way the levels are structured encourage you to go back and farm ingredients if you need them, or explore other paths you might have missed. There's always something to do. So what about the actual controls? Honestly, I've only had a couple instances where the motion controls didn't feel right, but I later found out that was only because I wasn't doing something right. You've always got help on screen showing you exactly how to perform each movement, so they motion captured these Joy-Con movements perfectly to match what you're supposed to be doing. So when do the enemies come in? You'll run into enemies occasionally while running through the main levels. Anyway, your actual attacks are different workouts with a set amount of reps targeting different parts of the body. Each one is color coordinated as well, so you know how to do extra damage to enemies with them, further encouraging you to mix it up and maybe even perform some tougher moves for extra damage. Didn't I see that the IR motion camera can actually read your pulse after each level? That's pretty nifty for helping you determine your difficulty level. Not only that, but every 10 minutes or so, the game reminds you to take breaks or stop for the day. And once you do, your ending stretches are all determined based on the actual workouts you did that day to help maximize your lasting effects. Looks to me like you are getting so distracted by the game itself that you don't seem to realize anymore that the game is tricking you into exercising! Oh, I know, but it might just be the best lie ever told. Besides, I'm gonna stop in just a bit. I'm just one level away from challenging the boss of this world, so before I do that, I'm gonna mix up some smoothies for the battle before checking the shop and upgrading my gear for a new set of bonuses. Uh, oh, I should also visit an old level in order to find some carrots and onions and make me an experienced doubling soup for the fight as well. Then, of course, I'll finish all the side quests like monster elimination, the deliveries, the challenges, and battle arenas before... This game looks beautiful. Man, just look at the colors and fluid animations on everything. It's been given more attention than most, that's for sure. I love the look of the enemies and their unexpectedly large variety. Yeah, same goes for the characters. They're a perfect combination of taking themselves seriously while totally self-aware of how silly the game really is. These levels you run through are absolutely beautiful. It's like running through a colorful combination of Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is a freaking exercise game. These people need a raise! Now, some levels do get reused in later worlds, but they always come with a fresh coat of paint, resulting in new hazards and challenges. There's just something so satisfying of just watching the landscape unfold through the twists and turns with colorful wildlife all gracefully animated. 
It's also worth noting how clear and helpful Tip is. Tip is your archetype guide who shows you clearly how to do each movement. He's even indicated in the little animation graphics indicating your attacks, making the whole user interface clean and simple to understand. Why does this game look and perform so well? Does it know it's an exercise game? That's like breaking the rules or something. Okay, so, come on. Spill the beans. This story has to suck out loud. <sighs> Why? Because, because it's, it's an, an exercise, exercise game? game? Yeah. Duh. You team up with this weird, tiki-looking sentient ring thing in order to journey across the world fighting monsters, helping people, and fighting the dark influence of the main antagonist, Drago. He's actually a clever stand-in for everything wrong with fitness. He's smugly obsessed with his own looks and overexerts himself for attention, putting aside healthy regiments. I mean, it's pretty funny and all, but that's not very in-depth. Well, what would you want out of this story mode, honestly? Something engaging enough to keep me playing long enough to make it a habit to fire up the game every day, and enough to keep me coming back even after that to hold me to my new routine. Yeah, it'll do that at least. Honestly, the gameplay loop will do this even more, but the story alone is just funny enough and just self-aware enough to keep you wanting to see more. Depending on what you want out of it, there's something for everyone. Unless you wanted some actual storytelling with character development, right? Well, yeah, of course it's very simple, but even still, I'm not even that sure about that. I'm currently 32 days into it, and yeah, it's a little silly and laid back, but it might actually be heading somewhere. How close are you to the end? That worries me, having my drive to exercise ending. Oh, I'm not even close yet. There's such a ridiculous amount of ingredients, smoothies, and armor pieces I haven't even seen yet in the glossary that I am confident in this being crazy long. Even still, it wouldn't hurt to start over, right? Nah, all the workouts are still helpful all the way through. And you can customize it all based on what you're looking to get out of it anyway. Find problems with this game already! It's great. This game is not allowed to be this good. Do you need something to continually motivate you into actually exercising? I know it looks stupid, but you'd be amazed with how many workouts this thing can track. Coming from someone who sits in a chair all day long, never moving, this game was cleverly designed enough to get me in the habit of getting up each day to get my blood moving, and even fix some of my back and neck issues. Literally nobody paid us to make this video. The game's that good. Before we give out ratings, let's just be clear. This is a game designed to get you off your butt and moving. So we're going to rate it based on how well it performs, based on what it was aspiring to achieve. So without further ado, the positive gamer in me is absolutely flabbergasted with Ring Fit Adventure, giving it my first ever 10 out of 10. This game did everything it set out to do and more. It amazes me in every regard and keeps me coming back better than any fitness plan or workout routine has ever done before. The critical gamer in me honestly struggles to find problems with Ring Fit Adventure, but at the end of the day, I'm willing to give it a solid 9 out of 10, and I feel that 10th coin could have been earned had the game's dependence on motion controls and a lack of a real meaningful story been remedied, However, these seem like impossible demands considering the constraints. The game is astounding to say the least and has completely shattered my expectations, and my expectations were high. Have you given it a try yet? Let us know how your positive and critical sides rate Ring Fit Adventure in the comments below. If you think this game's a joke just because it's an exercise game, you're just playing with yourself. Hold on, hold on, I'm not done yet. 
Thanks to everybody on Patreon for even letting me make videos like this happen. Thanks so much to Atomic Thomas, Sid, Denny, Erica, Patrick, Pyro Joe, Rowan, and Squad Fam. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate everything you guys do to help keep the channel going. For everybody else, remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode of Playing With Myself. Boop!